Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak and I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we are taking a look at a movie that I honestly have no idea what it's about. I don't even remember hearing about it, but it's called Jojo Rabbit. And I have no idea what to expect. The poster is, well, rather, ra interesting. rather interesting. So I guess we'll see where it goes. Um, I don't remember if this one came from Patreon or YouTube or how it got suggested to us. I just know we're watching it. Yep. And I stayed away from everything. Trailers, anything on the internet. Because I didn't really hear about it. And I want to go in knowing nothing. Well, I watched the trailer and still... Didn't know a thing about it. It looks like it's going to be some sort of comedy, so hopefully it's full of a lot of laughs. I don't know, but I definitely know I'm ready, willing, and able to watch something that I know absolutely nothing about. I didn't know this movie existed until I got to the studios tonight. <laughs> I didn't even know it was a thing. So uh, I'm guessing by the nature of the poster, I would have to agree with the answer. It would appear as if it's some sort of comedy um then again given the, the guy the also her. given the poster it doesn't seem like subject matter that lends itself to comedy <laughs> but i guess we're gonna find out yeah yeah well. so i mean i guess without further ado let's go i see you were multitasking on that one uh, it wasn't yeah. as good yeah i was uh well i was gonna go back and see what it suggested yeah, they deserve uh, he was willing and able but he wasn't was that ready, ready. Ah, ah, God, i'm no, good ah, i'm here all night <laughs> folks This is this Commando or what? Hey, Joe Betzler, 10 years old. You join the ranks of the Unibook. It's going to be intense. But today, you become a man. I am willing and ready to <laughs> give up my life for him. He's not able. <laughs> now, Jojo Betzler, what is your mind? Snake mind. Jojo Betzler, what is your courage? Panther courage. And Jojo Betzler, what is your soul? A German soul. I, I don't think I can do this. Of course you can. So you're going to get out there and you're going to have a great time, okay? Heil me, man. Heil Hitler. You can heil me better than that. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Who's Hitler? Heil. Heil. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Uh, can we even put this on YouTube? <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Ready for the best weekend ever? Yes, I am. Let's go. Oh, Skylight. I don't know what to think of this I, opening. I don't uh, either. This is like... <laughs> hey, hello, guys. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Captain Klensendorf. You may call me Captain K. Captain K! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Fräulein Rahm. <laughs> I've asked it myself every day since Operation Screw Up. <laughs> well, it's a perfectly good eye in a totally preventable enemy attack. According to my superiors, you need two eyes to be a meaningful part of the war effort. Two eye people do this. What did he, <laughs> what did he shoot at? <laughs> <laughs> Over the next two days, you little critters, we get to experience... Some of the things that the mighty German army goes through every day. These are very special and expensive weapons. And don't try to stab each other. This is your first step towards oh, being men. <laughs> Today, you boys will be involved in such activities as marching, bayonet drills, grenade throwing, grenade trench digging, throwing. lamp reading, gas defense, camouflage, ambush techniques, war games, firing guns, and blowing stuff up. <laughs> what is it? Girls will practice important womanly duties, dressing wounds, making beds, and learning how to get pregnant. I've had oh, 18 kids said. for Germany. All right. <laughs> Let's get to it. <laughs> oh, my God. Revel is perfect for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, 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 it went oh, his leg. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, 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 finish him? Thank <laughs> Yeah, it's been <laughs> Oh my god. Jesus. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Oh, what? Are, what? Are, <laughs> this is not anything that should be even remotely comical, but they seem to have done a really good uh, job yeah. with it. This is like like I, a Quentin Tarantino where he, you know, he has uh, fun with history, yeah, but they're making it comedic. You sound scary, huh? If I met one, I'd kill it like that. If you saw one, they could look just like us. I'd feel its head for horns. Imagine oh catching one and giving it to Hitler. Then we would become best friends. Yoki, you're my second best friend. First place is reserved for the Führer. <laughs> so unless you're Hitler hiding in a fat little boy's body, <laughs> I'd be happy with second place. I'm just a kid in a fat kid's body. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Stand before the enemy and have to end his life. Which of you will have the stomach to do this? There is no room in Hitler's army for those that lack strength. Those that are prepared to <laughs> kill at will. Johannes, can you kill? I, I love killing. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Does this give anybody vibes of the movie Heavyweights with Ben Stiller yeah. where the kids are at camp? I never saw it. You've never seen Heavyweights? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. It's the rabbit. Kill it. Bring its neck and kill the rabbit. I, I just... Look at how nice and calm the rabbit is. Now. You might scream, but we'll just use the boot to finish it off. <laughs> Jesus. Kill! Kill! Oh! <laughs> Good shot. You are a coward, just like your father. He's fighting in Italy. But no one has heard from him in two years. He's scared. And so are you. <laughs> Maybe we should snap your neck too. Jojo, the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo rabbit. Hence the title. Mm. Poor Jojo. What's wrong, little man? Want to tell me about that rabbit incident? They wanted me to kill it, but now they call me a scared <laughs> rabbit. Let them say whatever they want. People used to say a lot of nasty things about me. Oh, this guy's a lunatic. Oh, look at that psycho. He's going to get us all killed. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez. The rabbit is no coward. Cigarette? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't smoke. Oh, my God. <laughs> talking to nobody oh i thought you were crying Jojo, where are you going to be the rabbit <laughs> he's drinking <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gonna throw it right down in there maybe <laughs> <laughs> Uh -oh. oh. Shit. Oh. oh. Don't do that. It looks like a Picasso painting. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, Is that Scarlet? Yeah, that's Scarlet, yeah. Up foot. Well, I mean, so, all things yeah. considering. Yeah, I was gonna say that's so not bad. so bad. He took a grenade. Darling, little cub. Why so happy? <laughs> that is ugly like a monster. <laughs> Matching pajamas. <laughs> guards will heal, and you'll get most of the movement back in your leg. But I've never been Hitler's personal guard. Mama Lion worries about her cub, especially when Papa Lion isn't here. Now then, let's get on our way, huh? I look stupid. Enjoy the attention, kid. Not everyone's lucky enough to look stupid. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, Hitler! Jesus. Hey! You're looking fetching as usual. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's because of you, my son can't walk properly and has a messed up face. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. So, so I'm going to look after him while I'm at work. Guys, this is Johannes Betzler. Kid I told you about. Remember, he stole a hand grenade and blew himself up, and as a result, he got demoted for negligence. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the guy in the background. <laughs> I'm sure we can figure out something for you to do. Uh, we need somebody to walk the clones. Oh, also, the clones. I think maybe he could hand out 
facts, there's no propaganda. I don't suppose I could be conscripted. Yeah, yes, I give my full permission to you to send this 10-year-old child into war. Okay, here's a conscription. Here's a gun. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit for the cash. It puts it in her waistband. <laughs> Jesus, this movie. Hey, go, go, run! I'm a soldier. I'm going to war. Mama, I'm home. Mama. The ballet shoes said Ingi, and he said no Ingi before. Or however you say the no name. No Ingi but... Lion. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the old timey light. Yeah. That's cool. Hi. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> creepy <laughs> hand. Classic. <laughs> Don't make me run, kid. Lose something. You know what I am. Say it. A Jew. Well, your mother invited me, so I suppose that makes me her guest. Not allowed. Well, what will you do, sweet Hitlerchen? Hmm? Of course. Go on then. Tell them. I'll tell them you helped me, and your mother too. What do you think they just saw in the town square? Yep. I think I'll hold on to this. Sheesh, that was intense. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there could be more of them. Hundreds of them living in your walls. She must have used her powers. Mind control. Oh, typical. You girl in the wall. <laughs> I'm not scared of you, and I think you should find somewhere else to live. Not okay. <laughs> She's pretty rude, you know. <laughs> well, what are we going to do about that, Jew? You think of something. Stop offering me damn cigarettes. <laughs> I'm ten. All right, sorry, I'm stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering how long they would go with, the, with that bit. And someone tries to use mind powers on me. You know what I do? Use mind powers back on them. Make her feel safe, and then she'll drop her guard, and then you will be the one in control. Reverse psychology. Just use my backwards mind power trick, and everything will be fine. <laughs> backwards mind power trick. <laughs> A Jew living in your wall is better than two Jews flying around with their bat wings, climbing down chimneys, and eating innocent nuts. Oh, my God. And don't give her any more knives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. This just jumps off the window. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Who wrote this movie? <laughs> oh my god, I think I think he did. Why are you up, huh? What are we going to do with these laces, huh? I had to tie them eventually, you know? I had to. Ooh. Inyo. You've lost your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. He's <laughs> got a fire poker. <laughs> That's the only thing he had left. I, I am really digging, like, the set with how old-timey everything is. Mm -hmm. I wonder how accurate it is. Leave a comment below. Well, you have to trust me, okay? I'm the boss here, yeah? I guess. Yes, but with, with one eye. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be more quiet. If I have to choose between you and my son, I, I, I won't know what to send you. You could reason with him? You don't know him. It took him three weeks to get over the fact that his grandfather was not blonde. <laughs> Hope that your only remaining child is not just another ghost. Perhaps all ghosts now. We just don't know it. You've lived more lifetimes than most. I haven't lived at all. They didn't get you yesterday or today. You make tomorrow the same. Tomorrow must be the same. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> 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 Why has he got a pistol? All these are guys like in therapy in the pool, you see? Ah, oh yeah, Jesus oh Christ. yeah. Ther therapy. That's oh Jesus! Yes. Pain is your friend. I'm going to recommend another month off school though, because your face might scare the other kids. Hey, he doesn't have hand grenades himself. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask? 
ask you a question about Jews? If you see a Jew, tell us. They tell the SS and then they go and they kill the Jew. And anyone who helped the Jew. And because these are very paranoid times, probably some other people just in case. Even if the Jew hypnotized someone. It can happen. <laughs> Slide all over. So my uncle, a Jew hypnotized him. Did you see one? A Jew? I'm not sure I'd be able to tell if I did. Okay, <laughs> Sarah. Yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> 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 Kiss ever fight in the pool. <laughs> okay. Here's the situation. If I tell on you, you'll be in big trouble. But then you'll tell on me and my mother, and we'll be in trouble. Which I don't want. I have some conditions for allowing you to stay here. Tell me everything about the Jewish race. We're like you, but human. <laughs> <laughs> Kindly refrain from sitting on my sister's bed. You mean they were friends? Enough with the small talk. Start telling me about your kid. <laughs> like, like a Who is this actor they got to play this kid? I know, he's did a gr doing great. Your mother managed to find me some bread. She treats me like a person. You are weak, like an eyelash. Break <laughs> <laughs> three. There are no weak Jews. We're chosen by God. You were chosen by pathetic little men who can't even grow a full mustache. Well, that didn't go the way you wanted it, did it, Jojo? Oh. This book is going to be harder to write than I thought. She's burning something. What are you burning? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice old-timey record player. Jeez. I know Apparently for some they the couldn't exactly have a Sony in this. Well, entry. I know, I know, but it's just I'm just marveling. I'm marveling Guy, it's a everything. period film. <laughs> Literally know. every movie that shoots <laughs> in past times decorates the set to go <laughs> yeah, and but coincide. You can always find some inconsistencies. You're, you're like, oh man, they got old couches. It's the 40s. <laughs> Did I mention a couch? No. <laughs> he's 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 easily impressed. <laughs> There's always a lot of inconsistencies and wrongs in, in time period movies. There are certain alcohol bottles wouldn't have been made until the 50s yes. or 60s that people will point. So get out. off my back! <laughs> How's your day, Johannes? Just wandered around being a deformed kid with nothing to live for. <laughs> You're not deformed. My face looks like a goddamn street map, woman. <laughs> <laughs> woman. <laughs> my father were here. He'd get it. Well, he's not. Dead. I'm stuck with you. You want to dare, eh? Yeah, I do. Fine. Don't you ever talk to your goddamn mother like that? I yelled at the kid. What? Go apologize. Sorry, kid. Sorry, kid. I know you miss me, but I'm, I'm out there trying to make a difference in the world. I need you to take care of my Rosie. Can you do that? Yes, Dad. Thanks. Oh, gosh. We made a good kid, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering if the dad is, like, doing the same as her, like, but in a different country, like, trying to help. Yeah, it could be. Help people out. At this point, I have no idea. There, there oh, yeah. could be UFOs in this movie, and it wouldn't <laughs> surprise me. Tell me about your family. I'll tell you about the Jews, but you are not privileged to know about my family. But I need background. Don't you have any friends? Of course. You're here, but you don't have anyone. I have Nathan. Who the hell is that? My fiance. Where is he? Fighting in the resistance. He proposed to me on the banks of the Fluss. When I said yes, we danced into the night. He's coming to rescue me, then we'll go live in Paris. Well, we don't need you. You and your stupid boyfriend can shut up. No, no, just because you don't have a girlfriend. I'm way too busy for a girlfriend. One day you'll make time. You'll meet someone and spend your days dreaming of the moment you can hold them in your arms again. Ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said to draw where Jews Doom live. Cough. This is just a stupid picture of my head. That's where we live. Oh, oh hey, uh, I like that. Yeah, this is a really good idea what we're doing right now. If she had a heart, this would break it clean in two. I came across an old letter, your fiance, addressed to you. Dear Elsa, this is hard for me to say, but I don't want to marry you. <laughs> Jeez. I found a new woman 
and we laugh a lot and do <laughs> tongue kiss. It's like my favorite poet really kisses. We need, in love, to practice only this, letting each other go. From Nathan, your ex, Beyonce. P.S. I'm not really in the resistance. I was lying. I'm unemployed and quite fat. <laughs> I actually forgot there was a second letter. I just wanted to let you know that I don't want to break up with you. <laughs> I changed my mind because I don't want you to kill yourself. Oh, you, Jesus. Which a couple of girls have done in the past, and it's pretty stressful. I need you to stay alive. Thank God you've been taken care of by that kid. Who I must say How is a remarkable know? young man. Beyond his years. And we too. And let's still get married sometime. Even though I am truly unemployed and have nothing going on for me. <laughs> yes. Nathan. Well, he's not fat anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Beethoven. Einstein. Bach. Gershwin. Musicians. Is that all you have? Rilke. Houdini. No. That's impossible. And now I'm fed up. Hey, if you find any more of those letters, will you let me know? Okay. It's always time for romance. And they meet someone special. It's a stupid idea. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. The shoelace is undone again. Come on, Schittler. <laughs> <can move on. laughs> Whoa! Oh, she hey, tied them together. What's wrong with you? I'm worried about you, man. You're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> again? <laughs> <laughs> Celebrating war and talking politics, you should be climbing trees and and then crawling out of those trees. It is us, young boys, who will rule the world. The Reich is dying. We're going to lose the war, and then what are you going to do? Life is a gift. We must celebrate it. Dancing for people who don't have a job. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the one-liners this kid has. No kidding. Oh my you know, God. Quinn, I really like that for this bike riding scene, they got like old, old bikes. Old timey bikes. Yeah. For what about the bike that truck? Ride? For the bike ride. Yeah. What about the truck? <laughs> no news from Nathan today, I'm afraid. What's wrong? You want me to tell you about the juice? In the beginning, we used to live in caves deep, deep in the center of the earth. Wait. <laughs> center of the earth. <laughs> Stealing the ends of penises. Jesus. <laughs> 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 you Christ. may continue, but I know it's true. The penis thing. <laughs> Your dogs. Getting a little crush. Oh. It'd be better with color. Where's the horns? <laughs> Where's yours? They grow when you turn 21. <laughs> <laughs> and another thing is we can read each other's minds. What about German minds? Their heads are too thick for us to penetrate. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also attracted to shiny things. But also ugly things. Jews love ugliness. You two seem to be getting on well. I was just making sure she was still alive. I just don't want a dead person in my house. How would you like it? I'd love it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do I make it weird? Shouldn't be weird between us. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Yeah, I was just keeping your bed warm for you. I'm not sure about the hips on the pants. Should they be bigger? <laughs> Should they be bigger? <laughs> Do not let her put you in a brain prison. Do not let your German brain be bossed around! I think you've got a lot of good information in your book. It's time to show it to the world, don't you think? <laughs> Do you think I'm ugly? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. He's different. He thinks Inga's costumes up here. You remind me of her. I would love to have seen her grow into a woman, but I'll, I'll have to watch you instead. I think she's hoping the war would be over and she mm. can stay there or something. You do things like drink wine. Sure. You, you drink, drive a car, own diamonds, and trust without fear. That's what it is to be a woman. How do you know you can trust someone? You trust them. All those other things. Did you do that stuff? No. <laughs> I never looked the tire in the eye. 
<laughs> okay. Did you know Jews can read each other's minds? They hang from the ceiling like bats. <laughs> Look at Rebel Wilson in the background. I'm writing a book. What's it called? You Who Jew. <laughs> you could also call it Who You Jew. Oh, <laughs> she's got a oh, about some Jewish news. news. <laughs> oh, you do have a wonderful imagination on you. Part of our preparations for the invasion, I'm redesigning my uniform. The feathers for aerodynamics. <laughs> oh, you know, he was... The boots truly decorated. This is a oh. Gatling gun. You see him grab the collar and pencils? Yeah. That's uh, Theon Greyjoy from Game of Thrones. That's who oh, that is. that's oh, I see it now. Yeah, yeah, him. Yeah. Yep. What jobs do you have for me today? It's a bit of a step down from what you're used to. All hands on deck right now. <laughs> <laughs> if comes the battle now. Oh, see, something's up with the mother. Yep, she's. I think she's a spy. Uh, she's with the resistance. Well, she's yeah. been yeah, she's been helping them all. Yeah, well, obviously, yeah, that. But with the notes and things that she burned the other one. Free Germany. You okay? Hi. <laughs> she's got a <laughs> rifle on him. Yeah. Hey, you okay? I caught a Jew. Personally, I didn't see what all the fuss was about. It seemed kind of normal. I got you guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> This paper jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the kind of recoil from a rifle like yeah, that on for an 11 year old? old? You can have them. They're probably broken. I can draw you again. No one wants to see pictures of cripples. You have to be a cripple. I'll be one of those guys who never get to kiss a girl. You will be kissed, Jojo. Do you want me to kiss you? Oh. <laughs> it's illegal for Nazis and Jews to hang out like we do. Let alone kiss, it'd just be a sympathy kiss, which doesn't count. I'm massively into swastikas, so I think that's a pretty good sign right there. <laughs> Damn! But you are not one of them. Let's just agree to disagree. Oh, no, no, not the butterflies. <laughs> not the butterflies inside him. Come on, hide. Hurry, go. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Captain Hermann Dietz of the Falkenheim Gestapo. With me, Herr Muller, Herr Juncker, Herr Klum, and Herr Forsch. May we come? <laughs> this is not good. No. Go, go. Hey, guys. My bicycle got a flat tire. So I carried it. So did I. Miss anything? We're in the midst of a. Routine inspection. Oh, we were just passing by. <laughs> <laughs> he actually is like that tall. Yeah, so it's is. not even it's not even a joke. Now this is my kind of little boy's bedroom. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> I wish more of our young boys had your blind fanaticism. Earth are those oafs up to? Why don't we go upstairs and see, yes? Do you know where your mother is? I think she's in town. She is quite busy. Well, I'm pleased to see that you're wearing your Jugend uniform. Where's your knife? You must always carry your DJ knife. Where is it? It's here. Who might you be? Oh. Well, who might you be? And what are you doing in my house? I'm his sister, Inga. Ooh, Sam Rockwell knows something. Smart move. If they find her hiding, then whatever. But yeah. she just comes right out. Yeah. Sometimes you'd prefer if I was dead. Why do you have his knife? I'm guarding my room because he refuses to stay out of it. Ma'am? Nah. I don't suppose I could see your papers, could I? Papers, Miss Betzler. Quickly, please. We don't have all day. Yeah, and she might yeah. not even know what it, papers I exactly look for. Yeah. Uh-oh. I think. Yeah, he's going to cover for her. Yeah, this guy doesn't give a mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. How old are you in this photo? I was 14. Days of birth. 1st of May. 1929. He's not even, like, looking at no. her. Come on. She memorized Correct. it all. Thank you, Inga. Wait. What? Is oh, no. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> this is a book. I did. It's an expose on Jews. Oh, look at this one. He has a tail. <laughs> like a bat. <laughs> <laughs> Who is operating the machinery of their brains? <laughs> the devil. <laughs> die, Nathan, die. Nathan being tortured by snakes. Who is Nathan, please? Just some boy. I do hope you continue with it. If you see anything suspicious, give us a ring. Look after your family. 
Look after this knife. Oh, she, you know, she's got to be wondering, what's with the whole uh, Nathan thing? <laughs> she was born on the 7th. He was helping us. They figure out she's dead, then I'll be dead. Nobody really knows Luna died. You could be her. I know you, and that's... We're friends. You and Nancy are not friends. Complete bust. <laughs> that. She doesn't seem like a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> You call yourself a patriot? Yet where is the evidence? Germany depends on the passion of these young men. It is up to you to decide if you want to be remembered or disappear without a trace, like a pitiful grain of sand into a desert of insignificance. You're 10, Jojo. Start acting like it. the chair. <laughs> like the bad <laughs> twist again. <laughs> oh no. No. Oh my god. It's the shoes. Oh my god, it's his mom's shoes. Oh no. He's gonna blame her. <laughs> oh. Did you know? Only that she worked with her friends and your father was somehow involved from afar. She said he'll be home. As soon as the war's over. She didn't want to tell you anything for obvious reasons. She didn't want you to know anything that could get you in trouble. But now I have nothing. The last time I saw my parents was at the station. They were put on a train. Maria. A friend of my father's hid me. Till your mother took me in. My parents went to a place you don't come back from. Oh, God. <laughs> Boy. What's the first thing you'll do when you're free? Dance. Oh, wow, he doesn't have yeah, his uh, usual clothing on. Oh, well, the whole city was shelled out and mm -hmm. blown up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> He's so yeah, right in letters from Nathan. This is blood coming out of the heart with the arrow through it. You okay? Oh! 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 She's basically my girlfriend now. Oh, good for you, Jojo. I'm a girlfriend. But... <laughs> <laughs> and now Hex was gone. We're really on our own. You didn't hear? He gave up and blew his brains out. That's impossible. Knew them out. I'm not sure we trust my side. Jesus. Oh. See that American there? Just go give him a hug. Go run. Let's go. Oh. Just go and shoot anybody who looks different to us. Okay. Okay. Put your jacket on, so they know not to shoot you. Die, devil, stop! Oh, that didn't work out too well. There's the German shepherds. Uh -huh. Oh, that's uh, Sam Rockwell. <laughs> it's 
Is there going to be anybody left? Ah, those guys. No. What? I, I, I don't understand. Captain K. Hey, kid. We come to the end. Party's over. I'm sorry about Rosie. She was a good person. Take. I don't think I like where this is going. Take the jacket off, kid. Hey. It's okay, kid. I think your book is really great. Very creative. Take the jacket off. Now go home, look after that sister of yours. Get away. Get away, Chu. The Chu! Shut up. You know this Nazi? No, no. Get away, Chu. Shut your mouth, Nazi. No, Get out of no, here. No, go home. No. Get off. Get out of here. Go home. <gasps> you okay? Thank God. It's like I can never die. Now the war's over, at least your girlfriend will be free. I I've got to go. Okay, sorry. I was thinking maybe the house would be bombed out or something. That's what I thought was going to happen. Well, maybe they might be a little bit farther out or I don't know. I'm just hoping she's still there. What's going on out there? Jojo, what's going on? Is it safe to come out? Jojo, is it safe? No. You can't leave. You have to stay here. Who won? Jojo, who won Who won the war? We did. She only won the war. Oh, I'm sorry. He's so scared to be alone. Yeah. Yeah, Elsa, I know it's hard for you at the moment, and I know you feel like giving up, but you have to carry on. Me and your good friend Giorgio have devised a plan for you to escape. <laughs> He's going to help you get out of there, and then you can come live with me in Paris. And don't worry about Giorgio, you'll be okay. See you in Paris, Nathan. He's dead. He died last year. Tuberculosis. It's weird. We're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You've been so good to me. The thing is, I love you. Oh, well, wow, just... <laughs> I know you think of me as a younger brother. You're too old anyway. Wow, that's quite old, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. As a younger brother. Yes, yeah, a younger brother. Me and fake Nathan have found a way to <laughs> Fake Nathan. Maybe you can trust a younger brother? Maybe. Get your things together. I was wondering, does she want to leave, though, too? Shut your bed, sir. Ten and a half years old. Just do what you can. Where in the shit do you think you're going? Out. Out? Oh, no, you don't. You're in love with her, aren't you? Yes. Admit it. I just said yes. I knew it! <laughs> She's too old for you, and you're ugly. Here's what's gonna happen, you little shit. Put it on. We're gonna pretend none of this ever happened. Fuck off, Hitler. <laughs> 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 Wait. So you got a time together, like <laughs> yeah. Now <laughs> yeah, he did it perfect. Ready? Yeah. Is it dangerous out there? Extremely. We made it. Oh! <laughs> Probably deserved that. What do we do now? You can dance, right? That she looks like that's what it looks looks like what she's doing. Ugh. <laughs> we can be heroes by a David Bowie. <laughs> 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 oh real key. there it was guys jojo <laughs> rabbit and what can oh, you say uh, 
Other than being at a at a bit of a loss for words, uh, this movie had everything. And it was completely off the wall and totally bizarre, unlike anything I can remember seeing in the last 10 years, if not more. Just completely out there. But I don't want to, by saying that, take away from the absolutely amazing job that the young actor did in this. Uh, who played Jojo. Answer's going to bring his name up here shortly for me. But wow. Just an an incredible role. Um, A ridiculous comedy that you wouldn't expect mixed in with uh, a war-type movie atmosphere and then some absolutely terrible things that happen in addition to that. I can't believe you can roll all this into one movie it was totally incredible uh i know before we've had oak has had a a spot in the in the uh in the channel here where didn't even know what to rate something and i think jojo rabbit's pretty dang close to that like (laughs) what do you even say about uh, a movie like this where it's like it's completely hilarious in the beginning part but like for for terrible reasons, yeah. And then uh, you know, and like I said, then you know he loses his mom, and then all these different things happen. So I've, I I think I'm gonna give it a pretty uh, pretty solid rating here. Um, again, unlike anything I can remember seeing, totally out there. Uh, I'm not sure what to feel right now. If I'm totally honest, uh, happy ending. Maybe ish, ish sort of. I mean, Jojo lost his mom in like the most terrible way you can imagine. I'm sure we'll all expand on that once I shut up and give my rating here. We've all kind of had a maybe a chance to bounce a few ideas off one another. But for me, I'm giving Jojo Rabbit four out of five answers. Uh, I guess because it was a, a good movie. I mean, the the actors did an amazing job, but. Boy, I wouldn't, it's, it's a, that's a tough one to rate. Everybody else on Amazon went with four and a half out of five. So I guess that's where I'm going to leave it. Four out of five Roman answers. Roman Griffin Davis was JoJo. And, you know, that wasn't just a slam dunk. That wasn't just a home run. That was a grand slam. Freaking Jordan from the free throw line. He did a great job. The one-liners, his comedy, the way he, you know, you felt for him, you know, obviously in the right moments you had to, but then you also felt happy for him at the end when he, you know, when uh, Elsa, who was played by Thomason McKenzie, was was uh, was Elsa, and she also did an amazing job, just a great job all around. I mean, yeah, like you said in the beginning, it was fun for the wrong reasons, but it was still fun. It kind of reminded me of like a Tarantino where you ha- you have fun with history a little bit, um, and then obviously, you know. Taki Watiti. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. He started as, you know, we know who, but it, he was also the director, so you could definitely tell that he had this spin on it. And uh, we were wondering what it was. The genre was comedy, comma, drama. So obviously it had all that. I had fun with it. I thought Ever Negret, Sam Rockwell was awesome as well. Scarlett Johansson, amazing. You know, Obviously, having fun with history, you kind of know what happens, but this way they try to make it a little comedic. But for me, I had a joy because it hit all the senses. I was laughing, almost crying at the end there and stuff like that. So I'm going to go with a 4.3 out of five answers. Um, I thought it was highly entertaining and hitting all the right places for me. So 4.3. Oh, this movie was, uh, this was unexpected. I guess I came into it not expecting anything other than what... We saw in the poster, um, we knew it would be something with World War II, but um, this movie was so unique in that it took um, arguably, oh, this is, like, <clears throat> the Holocaust is probably the darkest time in, in human history. I mean, been through a lot of bad shit in history, but the, uh, the systemic murder of six million people is about as awful as it gets. Um, and to take uh, that story and try to put a comedic spin on it, if I, if I felt like, or if I came across as kind of like meh in the intro, I mean, that's kind of why. I'm like, 
how do you make a comedy out of World War II movies? You know, and I know we have Inglorious Bastards where Quentin Tarantino rewrites history and, and things like that. Um, but I thought this movie was absolutely phenomenal. And I, I think it's just beyond brilliant. And they make it a comedy because I think it's... It's it's obviously nothing to joke about, but the, the 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 bullshit that Hitler and the Germans and the Nazis were doing is was so outlandish okay. that yeah. it's almost like yeah, obviously it was so terrible you can't laugh about it. But like so the the beginning of the movie, um, for those of you who aren't up on your World War II history, there was the Hitler Youth Movement, where this is, I mean, obviously they put a. a comical twist to it but this was a real thing recruiting kids you know around the ages of like 10 and 12 and training them for the Hitler youth movement um and and essentially brainwashing them at a very young age to believe you know what Hitler and the Nazi party believed and I loved what they did with the instructor because he was a guy who was just he knew the war was over he knew everything they were standing for was bullshit he knew the Hitler youth (laughs) movement was bullshit and you have to imagine that there had to be so many German soldiers. It's easy to just throw a blanket over all the German soldiers and say, like, they're all, just, you know, terrible people. But you have to remember during that time, if you weren't fighting, you know, it, it could, it, you yeah, know, could blow back on your family. Yeah. It, it could be the end of you. So there was, and I'm not trying to, you know, get anybody to sympathize with, with German soldiers, but imagine you know, having to choose between, you know, your own family or going to war. And so I think that is what they were trying to portray there is here's a guy who thinks Hitler's probably an asshole and he's tired of all the bullshit and just doing whatever. And we see later in the movie that that was very much his thing. Um, it's it's so easy to, to brainwash kids into or I don't even want to say brainwash to teach them to hate or to teach them all sorts of things and that's reflected in this movie like they were teaching kids to hate at a very young age and obviously they went they went way out in left field yeah. on this with you know the well, Jewish well. people had horns and stuff like that but the point is is that this is what they were teaching these kids and stuff and it was a great developing story of this young boy who had been taught like obviously not by his mom but had been taught by you know his country for lack of a better term and that's what it was with the propaganda in the war had been taught to hate jewish people and when he had an opportunity to open his eyes and sit down and get to know this young woman uh he started to make up his own mind um but the only reason he even had that opportunity is because his mom was trying to help in you know, we saw all the other young boys who weren't pulled out of their situations. They're actually fighting the war. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, if you're not up on your history on the war, like a lot of the stuff that happened at the end of this movie was a pretty accurate depiction of what happened when the Allied forces made their way into Berlin. Um, I had an opportunity in 2015, it was, um, to spend a three hour flight next to a World War II veteran. Um, he was in his 90s, and he was um, part of um, B-17 uh, bomber flight crew. And he was saying that um, even after the war had ended, they had converted their B-17 bombers to do supply drops. And they were doing supply drops at some of the concentration camps. And he said, I'll never forget it. They were doing a low flyover, and he said there was a lady, had to be 80 years old, on the roof of like this third story building with a shotgun shooting at our plane. Mm -hmm. Um, And uh, this also happened in Japan, but in Germany, the German people were told, look, that the Americans and the Russians were going to do awful things to them, and it was, you know, ingrained in them to fight till the last moment. So the civilians running around in Berlin, the kids running around in Berlin, like, Obviously, you can't say the movie is how it played out, but these were real scenarios. So to see that, it's it's hard to watch. Um, But, um, you know, for for this movie to to teach that lesson that, you know, these 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 kids were being brainwashed. But once you learn that, you know, you open your eyes and see for yourself, it's like, I don't know, I'm having a hard time with this. I just... It's you know we, we watch a lot of these movies and look Hunger Games was was 
bothersome because of the point of it, you know, and, and, and we watch these movies, but when, when movies are reflective of things that really happened, yeah, it's really pretty history. sad. Yeah. And, you know, the end was, it was tough because you, you can't, you can't imagine like being a kid and losing your entire family and spending months or years hiding in an attic, hoping every day that you don't get found, knowing what the end result is going to be. And you just can't imagine what that emotion must have been like when the Jewish people that were hiding found out that, you know, the, the allies won and that the country had been liberated. And just that incredible, like, I mean, you, you step out of the house into the road and you realize that you're free. Your parents are gone. Your family's gone. You don't know who's left. And it's like this this like just drastic mix of emotions from I'm free and I don't have to worry about the Germans anymore to my entire family's gone and, and where do I go from here so um, World War Two, like look any war you know what's going on in, with Ukraine and Russia right now is, is very difficult and any war in any part of the country or the world rather is is is, is a difficult subject to deal with but World War Two was uh, it was especially especially brutal there's been a lot of wars fought throughout the history um but the, the holocaust was 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 it was pretty bad and so to show the plight of a of a young jewish girl and you know somebody who was supposed to be the, the future of the nazi party kind of come together was it was it's emotional um and again i know it's a fictional movie but it's based on stuff that really happened and so i don't know i'm I'm usually a little bit more articulate. I know I'm rambling here, but this is like this was an unexpected, um, funny. Like, yeah, I think we're all, right. we're all we're all we're all unexpected laughing. Unexpected is probably it the was, best it word. It was it was funny, um, incredibly emotional. Um, uh, a young boy, you know, um, you know, seeing his mom uh, passed away. Um, but you got to imagine that kid was going to grow up, and once he realized the truth, he was going to you know, appreciate the fact that his mom died. Like, that's another thing. Like, mom died trying to do the right thing. Mm-hmm. Even, you know, those that did no wrong. Mom put a huge risk out um, for herself and, and obviously for her son as well to try to to try to do the right thing. So that's so, when uh, Jusama said, what they do? And she said, not enough. That's yeah, what that she was meant. pretty much the giveaway that's what she there. Meant. Not yeah. enough. So, um, but yeah, I thought... I just think the way they did this movie was was absolutely brilliant. They made you laugh about how ridiculous um, some of the things that the Nazi Party did, mm-hmm. which 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 it was. I mean, it's it's a very serious situation, but it's like you, it's difficult to wrap your head around how other human beings could have been as terrible as the Nazi Party was, um, and uh, for all the propaganda that they had and everything else, it's 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 hard to understand. So they did a good job with the comedy, like you, you know, I got I got put in charge of the Hitler Youth yeah, movement. I don't they're give a fight shit. In the yeah. pool or whatever yeah. it might be. Yeah. Right. You just know, in so, case. Just yeah. in case. But so this this movie again was incredibly unique. I don't know who I've, I've never even heard of this movie. No. So whoever the, the 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 individuals were who recommended this. Thank you. Yeah. I, th- I thought this movie was was absolutely phenomenal. Um, it was brilliant in a million unexpected ways. And, and I don't know that I've seen a movie that has thrown this wide of a you know spectrum yeah. of emotions. So um, I am gonna go with five answers and i apologize guys i'm usually a little bit more articulate and i most of the you did good most of the movies we watch aren't uh aren't quite this emotional but this was an an incredible movie um again a brilliant mix of of comedy and emotion and telling the story of um of a lot of people that were involved in the war trying to do the right thing and trying to be Well, they had people. a lot of, you know, the set was a lot in the period of time that this movie was <laughs> they, they, did a great, yeah. they did a great job with that. Great job with that. Player, the, right? the, the, the answer loved well, the record What I player. loved, though, is at the end, the guy had a portable one. I didn't even know that that was a thing yeah. back then because yeah, you saw he had the little horn on yeah. there. I thought that was amazing. Yeah. Look, uh, you know, so look at that. A five, you got a four, three, a four. So it was amazing. 
we fell right into the average of uh, 42,000 people. So we're right in there with it. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals.